do you already use ClickUp or you want to use ClickUp with your business for lots of projects, but you want to also make use of it for your personal productivity? If so, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you how I have it set up. Hopefully you can take away some great ideas on how to improve your personal productivity and move things more into one tool so that you can use ClickUp effectively for your personal use and tracking your own tasks, your own reminders, have it simplified, have things set up so that it works really well for you and you can use it for your projects and businesses. All right, let's get into it. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy, and as promised, I'm gonna share with you my personal setup inside of ClickUp. Now, I of course use this for other things. Um, there's other folders going on here, but what I wanna talk about is how you can use this kind of effectively uh, for personal use. I'm going to assume you're probably either using this for projects, for business, for something else, uh, but I really like having things in one place. I think that there um, are great tools if you're just looking for personal productivity, for task list, uh, for something like that then a tool like Todoist, for example, might be better. But if you find yourself working in ClickUp, sometimes it can be handy, and I've found over time that I just like having everything in one spot, I'm not having to use a bunch of different tools. I still use Todoist, um, I still use these other things for, for other projects, for other reasons, um, but for my daily review and for other things, I have things tied into ClickUp since I use that for other projects. So what you're seeing here is uh, my inbox. And I'm gonna go over here, as you can see the mouse, we have a space, I've just called it Adam Personal. Um, and you can name it anything you want. I would just stay away from naming it something generic. You want to be able to quickly find this. And if you're using third-party services like Zapier, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, that makes it much easier to find. Within that space, I have a folder called My Personal Lists. This is optional. I've had more folders uh, previously, so I wanted to have things organized a little bit, uh, but if you're not gonna have other folders for whatever reason, if you just decide that you're not, you don't need to have it. You can create a list directly below a space. So I just decided to do that. It's a matter of personal preference. Now, the most important out of these three lists I have by far is my inbox. This is where everything comes into. I can manually, of course, assign tasks to it, but I also have things being piped in. For example, uh, Gmail. When I have a starred email, it brings it in here and gives it a due date of today. Uh, and that is so I don't spend time in my inbox, but if something is important and I know I need to reply, read further, do something with it, I click the star button and I know that when I go into uh, ClickUp and look at my inbox, it'll be there. All right, really important, and that keeps me from getting sucked down the rabbit hole of reading too many emails. Um, and the other two in here I will touch on, uh, but these are more personal in the sense of Adam's projects. That's just something I have where I have kind of the current things that are going on, you know, major projects, uh, things that are working on, or maybe in the background that I'm working on. And that way, once a week, I take a look at those, you know, is there anything I need to do to move them forward? Do I need to delete one? Maybe it's not happening anymore. There's not a lot of granular detail. It's just a reminder of, hey, these are kind of things that are open loops as far as actual projects. And then the brain dump is what you think it is. That's more of a place, hey, if I just got a random idea, something that doesn't fit anywhere, it's not a task, it's more of an idea or maybe a potential project, I can pop it in there uh, and then review that again weekly during my weekly review. So we're gonna see the inbox again in a second. Uh, but again, this stuff is really important. And one other thing I wanna stress is having the links to this stuff. Don't try to make yourself remember like, oh, I need to look at the inbox and then I need to look at the filtered view and then I need to like review projects. Go up here, copy that URL and use it uh, in a calendar, use it in a reminder somewhere. Maybe it's a reminder in ClickUp, whatever it is. Um, but for me, I have this stuff set out um, in my daily review that pops up and I just have the links. So I click and they open and they take me directly where I need to go. With any system like this, it can be easy to get lost. Um, with ClickUp where you can have different views, it can get confusing. So having your links uh, ready can be really, really helpful. To be clear, I don't actually go directly into my inbox. I always look at a filtered view of it, which is right here. Uh, but we'll show that here in a second, and I'll explain what's going on there. Okay, uh, let's go in here. I think what I meant to do was to show 
I think the project. So this is all it is, is just there's nothing super granular here. I've just got a few things that I'm working on. Um, there's no due dates, there's nothing like that. Again, this is just meant to keep me apprised of all the stuff, whether it's a you know gear area in the basement, something I wanna do this, uh, this winter or an actual you know something in development or promotion or you know something i want to do as far as switching email accounts whatever it is that stuff goes in here as it you know completes as i decided no longer working on it i can remove it but i have this link in my weekly review and i go through and say hey you know review this is there anything you need to update move forward delete anything like that and that makes it very easy as well as keeping things top of mind Brain dump, exactly what it looks like. Um, I should probably remove the time estimate. I gave that a shot and haven't really been using it on here. Uh, but I have a little note here um, that I've added and it just says prioritize based on the goals. You know, Before I take on any of these tasks, can I delegate it? Can I digitize or automate it? Delete it, downsize, do it faster, defer it to later. And just this is stuff that is not actually projects but I review once a month. And you know anything that comes into here, I don't automatically want to make it a project. It's just a brain dump. Uh, and then I can review it and be like, oh, maybe I need to set up this funnel, but first could I you know, hand this off? Is what, do I, what can I do to not do all of this myself or to do it faster? Um, which I find helpful and to kind of uh, prioritize and make sure not everything gets turned into a project. All right, next we are looking at the first page that I look at when I do my daily review um, after going through, well, let me rephrase that, the first page in ClickUp of my daily review. I do not immediately go into um, my inbox, but this is part of it. After I've done a few other things uh, for my daily review, the two places I look at are my inbox and I have it filtered to mentioning me. And this is where people have tagged me, you know, hey, Adam, I uh, need your input on this. Um, Adam, what you know here's what you asked for so i'm going through and clearing these up i find this is a great way to do it if you don't have that filter it can get really messy with a team uh, so i like doing this so i can get people back on track uh, and you know get them the answers they need that works for me uh, this doesn't have to be part of your morning review it could be sometime else but having this set up and again having that url so it takes you directly into the filtered view can be really really helpful all right the second place I'm gonna look at is back in my inbox and I have it filtered to do today or not assigned. And by that, I mean not assigned a due date. It's in my inbox, it's something that I put in there or that was put in there through an automation. Uh, but I review for, hey, if it's due today or there's something not assigned and I need to give it a due date, I just go through here quickly and I kind of follow the rule too of that two minute rule. If there's something I can just knock out and get off of my list, I get it done, I just do it. Uh, and then, you know, I assign everything else, I review it, you know, what do I need to do? Can I delegate it? What else can I do? And we can see over here too, I've got more filters. And if we click on these, we can see due date is today and earlier. Um, or tags is leadership, and that's just something I have for meetings. Um, so not as important for this. Or uh, due date is today and earlier, or due date is no date. So that helps me keep things uh, limited, but also lets me quickly go through here and make sure I'm not missing anything. Cause it can be easy to miss things if somehow a due date's missing, um, something like that happens, something gets clicked by mistake. Uh, and this way nothing kind of slips through the cracks and I get a quick look at all the tasks and I can, like I said, do them quickly if they're a quick task or I can say, okay, great. I'm gonna you know, either reassign the date. It's not needed today or it is due today get that done and move on from there. So once I've done all of that, basically what I do is I go back and I will go back to home. And this one is really simple today because I've got things cleared out already today, but I find this to be now where I want to work from. I can look at this. Okay, there's a app sumo product I wanna check out. Those are my reminders. I have that set up. And down here I have this set up to due date, group by due date and subtask as a separate date. And all that means is it's showing things kind of chronologically and grouping by date. And up here I have reminders. Um, those are just, if you're not super familiar with ClickUp, those are generally a little bit quicker, meant to be a shorter literal reminder. And on the home page, you can manage your cards and choose what you want to have on there. For me, again, I just have reminders and assigned to me. 
And if I want to look ahead, I can, but otherwise I just look at today. And if I had a task for today, I would do that, but I already had those uh, checked off. So that is a, one way you can have your personal setup in ClickUp. I find it again to be helpful if you're already working in ClickUp or you want to be having projects, businesses, things like that in there that you can now keep track of your tasks and remember, you can always automate things to come into ClickUp. Things like I mentioned with the email, um, you know, if you're using other products that integrate with um, ClickUp, you can do that, or you can use something like Zapier or Make.com uh, to automate that, whether it's Gmail, Notion, to do with something else. Um, so if you have any questions or comments about this setup, leave it below. Be happy to get back to you. I hope this was helpful.